Hi, this is Oliver from Opmetrics, and today I'm going to do a deep dive into the new features of Smart Route, which is available in Opmetrics version 8. Typically, there are two scenarios by which a business runs a call cycle for their field team. The first is a head office designed static call cycle. It's rule based and generally repeats on a monthly or a quarterly cycle. In this scenario, the field team execute the calls as they've been planned from head office. Other businesses run a dynamic call cycle where the rep may plan their own calls for the next week. They may be traveling to different regions and they know when their customers need to be visited. Either way, the new smart route and not metrics can help in both of these scenarios. Let's look at a static call cycle first. Head office created calls show in our call cycle on the screen. They're listed with green icons and uh, if I change to another day in the calendar, you can see the different appointments that are available. With Smart Route, we have a new tab down the bottom. So if I change to Route Map, it's showing me those same calls listed in their positions from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it's showing me the map of how to navigate those calls. It's optimized the directions to get there. And it's also showing some traffic build up. That's, if I zoom in, that's the uh, the yellow or orange or red lines where, where live traffic may be impacting on that. With Smart Route, there's a statistics bar at the top. And you can see, in order to do this route, it's going to be 58 kilometers. It's going to take us 6 hours and 28 minutes. And we're going to finish the day around 2 o'clock. But we can do better than that. So with Opmetrics, I can tap Smart or Smart Pro in the top corner. And it will recalculate and resort that route so you can see the orders changed from one two three four five to two four five three one but if you look at the map you can clearly see that that's a much better uh, route to get around my visits for the day in fact it's showing us those savings it's saying 37 kilometers and five hours and 49 minutes and we're going to be finished by 20 past one now if i flick back to planned you can see from 58 kilometers down to 37 kilometers is a really good saving in time and petrol and emissions as well. So with static route, you can use the planned or you can let Opmetrics decide the optimized route for that. As I do my calls, they gray out as they normally would, but the route is then re-optimized. And in fact, I can actually start a store visit directly from the route map screen. I can just click on Colombo Street Countdown it will zoom in there. I could get directions to the store, details, and I can start a store call. And I'll do a quick store visit, and I'll add a calling card just to show you how that works. So we just need to uh, do a completed call and tag what we did. So I've added some notes, and I'm going to pretend that's a completed visit, and I'll exit the store. You can see now that Colombo Street countdown is greyed out. The route map will have reorganized itself and re-optimize it to the next particular call. The next one is Eastgate uh, Countdown. So as it go, it's dynamic, it's changing the kilometers and it's changing the information. A couple of other features. We can make the map bigger by tapping in the top left hand corner. And you can see a large map. We can zoom in on that. We can actually use two fingers to, uh, to navigate and turn it around. And we could even collapse the sidebar as well, just the bottom left hand corner to get actually a full screen map. And with that, let me open those back up again. So I'll open up the sidebar and I'll put in the visit list as well. In the bottom right hand corner, we've got a white circle icon and a green circle icon. The white one will automatically center to where you are now. That's the orange dot on the screen and just centers you if you've navigated around the map. And the green one will actually automatically give you directions, driving directions, to the next visit in the list. So when I tap on that, that'll take me up. I can take directions, a nine minute drive, and I can use directions to get to that location. I'm going to go back to what metrics with the top left. You can still look at the uh, route map, or you can look at the call cycle, which is the full list of calls. You can see Colombo's been done, it's grayed out. And we've also kept the, the statistics bar at the top of that as well. So you can see 36 kilometers, 
five hours and 49 and you can flip back to the planned uh, and look at that information as well at 58 kilometers so you get the best of both worlds in terms of how you use it you can use call cycle you can use the smart or the planned route you can go forward and backwards in the calendar and you can also use the route map to to look at a map and to optimize it and use the route map to get the best driving conditions let's have a look now at someone running a dynamic call cycle so that's when a field rep is creating their own visits they may plan out the, the week ahead uh, they want to schedule in their own calls they might be traveling around to different locations so i'm going to select another day i'm going to select tuesday the 26th and you can see there's absolutely no visit scheduled for this day so that's fine i can see my location i can see i'm in christchurch but what i can also do is using the options menu i can show outlets which will show all of the stores that i look after uh, on the map and i can zoom around and i can start building up my own call cycle so for example if i want to visit bishopdale new world i can tap on that on the map I can set the duration for how long I want to visit for. It might be a 30 minute call. And I can add a note, um, put up new display. And add that to the route. And you can see my first calls being added for that day. I can then add in another one. Let's go to um, Avonhead Countdown. And we'll do another 30 minute call. I won't put a note in, I'll just add it in and i can continue to, to do that i can go to stanmore super value and do a one hour call and add that in and again as we're doing it it's building up the best route it's showing 19 kilometers and it's showing two hours and 33 minutes including the store visits to remember i put in 30 minutes and one hour calls so in that scenario a rep can select the calendar uh, day and then start building up their calls they can also filter this map. So across the top here, when we've got the uh, all of the outlets showing, I might select the banner and just look at countdown stores. And then I'm only seeing those on the map. And maybe it's the day that I'm doing countdowns. And then I'm going to add the palms in. And we'll add that into to that route for today. If I go back to the call cycle, uh, you can see that it's, it's put together that call plan for that particular day. Um, and I can always edit a visit from here as well. So just tap on the one you want to do, click on edit, and you can add a note or change that visit time. Maybe I'll drop that down to 15 minutes. And that will automatically update the route and driving times. There's another way of bulk adding or fast adding uh, and preparing your own call cycle if you're a field rep and using dynamic routes. And that is that if I go to my outlets, these are a list of all of the stores that I have in my territory that I'm assigned to. I can use the plan call cycle button and I can scroll through and I can see when I've last visited a customer. You can see Morehouse Ave countdown, last visited on the 27th of October. Um, I've got a scheduled visit on the, the 29th, but I might add it in for the 26th. And so I can tag and build up my call cycle this way. Again, using the search at the top or dropping down those customer categories. And when I've finished my planning, it's all done. I can go across to my route map and you can see I'm building up quite a, a cool plan for the day. The other thing that we can also do is set the finish point or the end point of where I want to finish. Let's go back to the 25th. That was that static call cycle. And you can see those appointments. I'm gonna turn off the other outlets so hide the outlets just to see the calls I'm doing. Now, if I set the finish point of where I want to end up at the end of the day, there's a further saving to be made there because it will work the appointments towards my finish point. So to do that, I use the options menu and I say set finish point. And then I can place a point on the map of where I live or where my office is and it will remember that for future visits. You can change it any time. I'm just going to select somewhere near the airport as if I'm flying out that day. And what it will do is if I look at the planned visit, it's all over the place. If I look at the smart visit, it's worked out the best order to do that. Uh, 41 kilometers and I should be at the airport at uh, 1.39 p.m. So 
quite dynamic in the way we can use it in terms of adding in uh, uh, incidental visits or dynamic visits, setting the finish point and filtering those customers by categories to build up the route that we want to travel. There's two elements to uh, Smart Route. The Smart Route and Smart Route Pro. Smart Route is included for all Optmetrics users. You get to see the map, it will plan out the, the best route uh, and do that. But in Smart Route Pro, you get those additional features. You get to see the, the live driving conditions. You can see where there's traffic buildups and it will uh, readjust the route based on that. You also get to set your finish point those two features are quite um, useful for optimizing the route and saving even more time and money. So I hope you enjoy what you see here. We're excited to bring it to you. As I said, it's going to be out in version 8, uh, coming very soon to the Apple and Android stores. Thanks very much for having a look. See you on the road.